when we're practicing, whether it's again, uh, blues scale or C major scale or, or anything else, um, we really want to pay attention, uh, pay a lot of attention to what we're doing. And I would make sure that when I'm practicing elements and ideas, I'm really, um, giving the rhythmic element a big, big place. Um, so again, whether, whether I'm practicing, um, you know, simple, uh, whether it's a blues idea, or it could be, again, more complex harmonically or rhythmically if it's kind of coming from a jazz language or uh, And of course, it functions in harmonic way as well. But all along, I have the beat, I have the pause, and I have the grid in my mind. So I want to make sure that I'm aware of all these elements. So I want to take the our dear friend, the metronome. I I'm going to put this, this dear friend here uh, on 60 BPM. And I'm going to take um, just C major scale again. And it's something that I spoke with um, with some of my students about. And, um, you know, I, I like talking about rhythm because I love rhythm and I, I'm trying to be as accurate and I'm trying to dive in as much as possible. So <clears throat> I'm going to just play one octave of C major scale and I'm going to try to listen to the metronome just to kind of groove and feel that pulse. And I'm just going to try and cover the metronome. So basically playing chord notes, right? This is 60 BPM. I'm just going to play chord notes. Now, as simple as, as this action might seem to a lot of you guys, you're like, okay, I mean, come on, C major scale, you know, one octave, you know, core notes, come on, we know that. But again, in reality, um, if we zoom in and we're trying to be super, super accurate, this is, this is a big, big task, right? So we want to make sure that everything is as clear, as tight, and as synced as possible again and in every one of these actions there is a ton of information right so whether it's harmonic information melodic information rhythmic information so again being able to do this exercise extremely well um, means a lot so you can really hear the grid you hear the subdivision you're feeling the groove and you're also hearing c major scale right so it's not you know the notes that you're playing you're aware of the position and and you know you're playing in a sort of a mezzo forte or you know whatever dynamic range you're choosing but you're consistent with these elements so it's it's quite a complex um thing